The other day I was talking with Alex, Chris uh, Fritz and Chris H, which are fine I2 experts, and they pointed to me and said, Jose, why you never show the integration between QReader and I2? And say, well, can you show me that integration in my own demo system with my offenses and see what value that brings? And that's what they did. And I want to share what I learned from them in this video. So in this video, I'm going to be working with this particular offense and I'm going to make another video, not to make this one too lengthy, with another case that is even more interesting. But let me start with the basics. This is a case where, you know, when you read this, you suspect, you suspect that this is a bin phishing. And when you try to do the investigation inside Curator, well, you are confronted with a bunch of uh, logs in here. There are no flows in this particular case. And, you know, how do you make sense of all these and what happened first, what happens later. Let's actually go ahead and go into this window system with the what they tell me is a very inexpensive uh, I2 analyst workshop sits and it has all the connection. They set up the connections with my curator and my resilient system. We're going to see the three products working in conjunction. So I'm opening the Ananis uh, notebook in here and I'm gonna uh, pause the video to log in. I can click no to all this. I'm gonna uh, log in with the account that they gave me and they set up in here and I'll be right back. So my first task is to bring those offenses in here and the connector that they have as you can see they have very many connectors. I'm gonna look for the word QReader and here there's one that says get my open offenses and that's precisely what I'm going to do. If you click on that button you get them all but since I'm going to be just analyzing one, I just want to bring one and here they are and I'm going to bring this particular offense so I do copy to charge chart looks like another offense enter when I was working in here, I click finish and I have brought my offense data in here. In fact, if I hover in here, we'll see the data that came in there. Now, what I want to do is bring now the events and in the other example, in the second video that I'll do, I bring not only events but also flows as well. So I click here on their queries and I'm gonna just type on this icon, bring me the events. And here they are, I click here, put it in the current chart that we're working. Click finish and here we have that data. Now, some of the things that I can do here. Well, I can of course move the icons around and make this graph a little bit more easier to understand. I can go here on their style, go on their frame, let me actually put a red frame on over these two computers, you know, things to make the information a little bit more easier to process, so let's say I'm going to be putting here, so, and in this, this is not a very complex environment. We're going to actually be doing the same thing with several offenses, which highlights the value of of this tool. But let's let's start it simple with this one. One thing that I like even for a single offense is the capability of actually selecting all the events in here. I do Control A, and then. I click on this icon in here, right, to get the timeline chart, and that I like quite a bit. So what we have now is the events in chronological order, but we can arrange this a little better. So I'm going to select all the events again, and I'm going to click here on the arrange, and I'm going to click here on this icon that reads order. So it orders the events. Let me actually zoom in. 
you know, with the mouse or trackpad. And this is what I really appreciate, is giving me the timeline of what happened first, what happened next. And that view, I think it is quite useful. But I also can open an incident in Resilient, which I already have up in here. So I'm selecting all this. I go here to Home, External Searches, and in here I'm going to search for Resilient. And here is Create Incident. That's what we want to do. Let me fill up this data. Once I have filled all that data, I click Run. And this has created an incident in Resilient. In fact, if we go to the Resilient interface, as we see, that incident just came. And we can look at the incident and we can actually see the actual automation that we have in Resilient to deal with that event. And I have done separate, separate videos where I show all that working together. But I, in short, this is a great way of actually visualizing data in ways that you don't get to visualize in Curator. In the second example, I'm going to show you what you can do even further when you combine multiple offenses and find commonalities among them.